What's going on guys? Rounded Tic Tac here and I am so excited to bring you this. I've worked so hard to be able to put, pull this off. I put in so much time over like 36 hours to actually do it and we actually did it. We golded the new timers on Chemplant with a Devastator gun build top tree. I'm ecstatic. This is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe we pulled it off. We pulled it off by the skin of our teeth, but we pulled it off anyway. This is not going to be a full build breakdown. There are some things in the build that aren't exactly the best, and I want to find better stuff to be able to bring you that video. Number two, I'm not 100% confident in the build just yet. We were able to do it, sure, but I don't know if that's going to happen all the time. I'm just really proud that we were actually able to do it. Number three, this build performs really well in solo, really well in solo and in duos. However, when I did play a variation of this build yesterday on stream, it fell off hard in trios. Speaking of stream, we stream four days a week over at twitch.tv slash round a tic tac. In fact, we're probably live right now. Why don't you come by and say what's up with that out of the way? Let's show you the build real quick and we'll jump right into chem plant. So just really quickly here, this is what we are using. We're using a death shield with shadow comet. We are using an absolute zero with ultimate freezing bullets and singularity. This was a mistake. You can bring better guns. We'll talk about that in our build breakdown. Our helmet is Sergio's beret with sharp eye and perseverance. Chest piece is statue's torso with power of the stones and bloodlust. Pants are golem squad. Pants are statue's legs with golem squad and captain hunter. Behemoth gloves with plate piercer and vampiric mag. And lastly, statue's feet with golem of death and bleeding impulse. We are using three piece of statue, which seems to be more bountiful than a bleeding set. So you guys probably have this armor faster than if you're, if you're still struggling to get uh, the bleed armor. This is what we're doing. This gives us 100% firepower and we're trying to keep up golem as long as possible. The skills we are using are golem, endless mass and gravity leap. And lastly, our class tree looks like this. Uh, we just go top power, top power. We skip assault rifle damage. We skip assault rifle damage. And our main form of damage is the shotgun. Now, that's it for the quick little glimpse into what I was doing. And we'll explain it more in the build guide coming in a day or so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the footage. It's really, really good. I go over exactly what I'm doing and how it's working and everything like that. Thank you guys so much. Think about subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. So part of the problem with this build is far range damage. We have the freezing gun here, but it doesn't really do much. I can't, I can barely take this guy down uh, and I'm going to have to gravity leap him. So we kill the sniper, which is the biggest issue in this area. And then we go, we actually use our golem skin and hopefully we'll be able to kill these guys pretty quickly. We're hitting pretty hard. Uh, I think I just saw a crit for 520,000 damage, 427. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So. I'm going to be using my other gun, actually, not as like a swap DPS weapon, but a CC weapon. The biggest thing that I noticed during this entire thing is that it's the opposite of the bleed build and where you have no CC. The techno. That's it, guys. All that's the free stuff. That's the, it, guys. Uh, I'm oh gosh, so excited to bring you this video. I cannot uh, believe we did it. Think about subscribing stuff. to the channel. The, it really uh, does Trickster help. Has the slows, if you guys want to check me out on stream, fire.tv slash round and tic tac. We are left with really nothing. I cannot wait to bring you guys this build on days. I cannot wait to bring you guys this build. I was testing this for days and tic tac out. I really noticed the lack of CC that the Devastator has. Uh, this part actually is going really, really well. Uh, one minute, 15 seconds. Not too bad. Finish off a couple of guys and we're at the door. Hopefully I don't die here. This is this is usually the hardest part of the entire thing. I like to go left here. We're going to use our Golem skin because it's our only way we can survive. You can see I freeze him again. And our meteor and bullets take out the captain. All of these breaches here, I'm going to use endless mass to hopefully be able to get that extra damage boost because breachers seem to be the hardest thing for us to kill. It's basically based on their armor. I'm going to freeze them again and then reswap and try to take them out with the death shield. I still have golem up. That's the only reason I can just face tank these enemies. Without golem, it's almost insta death. It's it very it's very similar to trickster gameplay. 
throw our endless mass down there get the extra damage bonus from the top tree capstone and try to take out these rushers these cutthroats as fast as i can let's actually kill these guys in the back line before we go and fight the captains that spawn this is the most annoying part of it i'm sure you guys can agree and now we have 17 breachers running towards us all right let's try to take these guys out i'm really worried about this big room coming up we don't have a lot of aoe in fact the only aoe we really have is our comment on our death shield and that's it hopefully it's enough there's endless mass here we still have a canister so that's helpful trying to kill the little guys and then cycle into the big guys This is actually going surprisingly well. It's got one or two enemies to clean up now. We got it, and we're at 340? That's really not that bad. That's really not that bad. Part of the problem with this build is ammo consumption. And although we have Vampiric Mag to help, the only form of bleeding we have is from our Golem. So once Golem is down, we cannot regen our ammo at all. wanted to get that quick reload in thank god for comet am i right holy crap it's probably the top three perks in the entire game it's really really strong with golem skin up we can we can face tank the vast majority of things i'm just using my two kinetic abilities uh basically just for the damage buff i don't really care what they do or who they hit and in fact endless mass in general i try to just throw on the weaker enemies because the captains and stuff can resist it, and then you get caught in the animation, you die. Almost one clip this captain. That's pretty damn impressive, in my opinion. I mean, we're not doing any trickster damage. I just got teleported, man. We're not doing any trickster damage, but it's it's working. 174,000 right there. Non-crits in the back from a decent far distance. It's not bad. As long as we keep that golem skin up due to that perk, we're okay. The second it drops, though, it's a free-for-all to how fast you can get the hell out of dodge. One captain left? Two captains left, I think? Gotta take him out real quick. Jump here. Oh, he's almost dead. Nice. All right, well, what do we have? Two, three more spawns? Big spawns coming in of all little enemies? I think we cleared it. I think we cleared this room. Finish off that guy. And we got the last big room here. I'm gonna use endless mass. Hopefully it does absolutely nothing all right we actually did it we're at six minutes 10 seconds not a crazy fast time but still gold worthy i think with the new timers it gets really 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 close uh, if you guys don't know this part you can skip basically uh, you just got to kill the guys up top so we're gonna gravity bam and comet's gonna do most of the aoe work like i said earlier the uh, the lack of aoe on the devastator running a build like this is disgusting it's it's so bad we have literally zero and that was a big problem i kept all right we got him that was a big problem i kept running into uh trying this build for hours upon hours and trying to theory craft this build is that the lack of aoe we just had none we had zero we couldn't kill groups of enemies fast enough and therefore we lost our golem because we weren't getting the kills to actually keep it up everything had to be shot everything everything had to be shot and killed so ammo consumption was a problem this room would have been a disaster 
but it, I think we finally pulled the build together. All right, we're at the last part. It's the farthest I've ever gotten. I can't press the button. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Well, we got what? Five more rooms to kill? Let's see if we can do this. We have beasts though, which I really don't want to fight. Let's see this first one with the alphas. All right, first one down. We're gonna have to, we got, we got the reload, damn it. At least with the alphas, they give you the little guys to just, oh my God, what the hell? Get, all right, Jesus. At least with the alphas, they come with the little guys. So it lets you refill your magazine from the bleed, the vampire mag. All right, first room down. This is where I normally die. Um, okay. We got the endless mass on. We're going to gravity leap in. Ooh, we're doing good damage, though. We're doing good damage. Try to kill one of the little guys. Hit him with a freeze, maybe. Nice. That was actually really, really good. It's going to be so close, though. Oh, my gosh. Last couple of enemies. Comet coming in. I hate this room. I absolutely hate this room. Our golem skin's down. We're doing barely any damage. I'm out of shotgun ammo. Fantastic. Try to finish him off with the assault rifle. All right, our golem skin is back up, so we're 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 good to go again. But we're still out of ammo, which is terrible. We've got like a minute left. Holy crap! We've got seven shots. Seven? Can we do it? Nope. Let's finish him off with this. I have that stupid perk on this gun. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. We could actually make this a little better. Why do I have that? That's the lengths I went for theory crafting. I tried to figure out what the hell to use. And I thought maybe that would work because it hits so hard. But I don't even use the assault rifle. Freeze him up. Endless mass him. Do our best to take him out. I don't even know where the crit spot on these guys are. I just never, I haven't used the gun in so long. We're doing good damage though. He's almost dead. As long as I don't get body blocked. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Finish him off. Nice. That was decent kill time. Oh my gosh. It's so close. It is so ridiculously close. Oh my God. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Go, 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 go. There's so there's more spawned. Oh no, I don't think I have it. I don't I don't think I have it. There's just too many enemies. I mean my single target ass. We can't do it. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Last one. Did we get it? Oh come on, did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Come on, what did we get? What did we... go? Let's go. Let's go, man. I just did something amazing. Holy shit. I just I just got really good. It doesn't matter. It's hard to explain. All right. 170 million damage dealt. Automatic shotgun, 121. And mod Shadow Comet, 33. I, did, I thought Shadow Comet did a lot more work than it did, but it's 100% necessary. And then we just had our swap gun, which was just for freezing. Um, yeah. I think I can make it a little bit better. I think I can make the build a little bit better. We ran out of ammo there. It was, it was absolutely nuts. Holy hell. 